Hi guys. Happy Sunday. Um, it's Sunday. It's one o'clock. I'm getting ready because we're taking the kids to the pool today. So I am just hopping on to do a little flawlessness. And um, yeah, that's my story. So I finally got a package in. Hi, Brittany. I got a package in and I got my new foundation sticks. So I was a little slow. Thanks, Brittany. I was a little slow on the uptake. Happy Sunday to you. And I finally got a contour shade and a highlight shade of the stick foundation because it's literally broke the internet product. It's incredible. So I'm going to go in and do a little primer first, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the contour stick, the foundation stick as contour and highlight today. Hi, Wendy. Um, so other than that, we're just going to make sure that everything stays exactly where it should be because we are going to the pool and I am running after young little boys all day. So did not sound right in the most respectable. Oh, the foundation is amazing. I have a hard time picking a favorite because I use them all for different reasons and different like depending on what my skin is doing or doing what my weather what the weather's doing so i agree with you i have a hard time picking a favorite but no matter what i do i start with primer and then i let it sit on my skin for a minute so i'm going to use the shade eyelet in foundation today because um i have a spray tan so i want to make sure that my face um well you never know <laughs> Someone someone tuning in might not know that I have children. And then when I say, I'm going to be running after young boys all day, they might be like, I don't know if I should report this or what. Um, so I'm going to use Eyelet Stick Foundation today because I have a spray tan and I want my face to match my body, even though nothing really matches me right now because I'm a blonde with a tan and normally I am a brunette with super fair, fair skin. So... It's like Halloween for me at this moment. Um, totally, totally, totally. All right, so I'm going to go in with Eyelet Stick Foundation. Every All the stick foundations come with a little cap on the top. I keep my cap just so like I don't accidentally forget to like clean up my makeup and then have an issue. So I'm going to go in with Eyelet Stick, which is my summer shade. And this is all the places that I put it. So you don't have to go crazy on the stick foundation. I find that when people tell me that it's got too much coverage and they like a lighter coverage, I feel like they might be applying too much. This is all that I put on for a full coverage look. That's it. Now I let goes away. And I'm going to use our Kabuki brush, which is right now in stock. And I'm just going to press this into my skin with the Kabuki brush. It's literally a game changer. I like to use, I can use my powder concealer brush. I can use my makeup sponge, but I really do prefer the Kabuki brush for this application. I don't know, it just goes on really, really quick, really evenly. I just feel like it's everything. Um, Kahuki, Kabuki, K, K U. B-U-K-I, I think that's how you spell it. K-A-B-U-K-I, Kabuki brush, unique Kabuki brush. Although I did find, like obviously there's other brands of Kabuki brushes that you can use. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Target, Ulta, Sephora. Um, but just make sure it's a decent grade one or else you're gonna get all the little brush hairs all over your face and your makeup. And honestly, that would just destroy my day. Kabuki. <laughs> it sounds like some dance you'd learn in preschool. The Kabuki hooky. All right. So all blended out with the foundation. Right. All right. So now I'm going to go in with Scarlet Stick Foundation. So Scarlet is the lightest shade of foundation that we have. I use Scarlet Organs, a Scarlet Concealer, and I use Scarlet Press Powder to do my under eyes. So today I'm gonna use Scarlet Stick Foundation. And I'm just gonna put it in all the areas that I would normally highlight my face because this is a full coverage foundation. And I'm gonna use my sponge to press it in. 
and show you all the glow. So if you are someone who, like honestly, these three things can pack away so easily in a little makeup kit and you can use one sponge or one kabuki brush to blend it all in. So it's really, really portable. I'm pretty much obsessed with the foundation stick, clearly. And I'm just gonna press in my under eye, but you can see how easily it blends. That's the best part, is just how blendable it all is. Hi, Debbie. All right. Just pressing it in. Never smear your makeup. That was a mistake that I used to make um, before I did this more professionally. Um, was that I used to like take makeup and like literally like rub it on my face like lotion and that is the absolute wrong thing to do. Hi Sarah. Um, so don't do that. Just press it in with a damp blending sponge or blend it out with a kabuki brush and you will notice a major major difference. All right, so the last shade we're going to go in with is Chenille, which is way too dark for my skin, which is why we're going to use it as a contour. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it right where I want to contour in under my cheekbones, down the sides of my nose, on my upper hairline, thank you Rosie, on my jaw. And you can see, especially when you do your jaw, like holy mackerel, what a huge difference that makes. All right, so now we're going to blend all that in. Because this is so dark, it I'll be honest with you, it scares me a little bit to use it because it's so dark, but it blends out like a dream. It's just a matter of like having the confidence to kind of go in and play with it. You don't need a ton of it, clearly. It's just about blending it out. And look how flawless that is. That's like next level. But I'll always tell it like it is. Thank you, Rosie. I appreciate that. My girlfriend, Melanie, highlighted my hair yesterday while we watched the kids swim in the pool. And we literally washed it, highlighted it, toned it, the whole bit, um, with a garden <laughs> with a garden hose outside. It wasn't exactly the spa-like experience most people crave, but it got the job done for sure. Melanie is just that good. Okay, press that in. What I like about the foundation stick so much is that it gives me like a really nice natural sort of a glow to my skin. Nothing looks like fake. Um, it looks very natural and glowy and healthy. And that's like a number one concern for me when I use any makeup is sort of, does it age me? Because I used to use a foundation and I returned it because I hated the way that it made my skin look old. It just looked like really dry and gross. I mean, it had good coverage, but I did not like the way it made my skin look ultimately. So back to the store it went. Okay. Blend out that jawline and blend it down my neck a little bit. Good to go. So that is foundation stick, all foundation stick, highlight, contour, and foundation, foundation stick, the end. Um, I'm going to go in with Touch Behold Setting Powder right now because that, I want to set my makeup. We used all cream products, so we just have to make sure that we're diligent about putting a powder over the top. So this is Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. You don't need to be color matched for this because... It is translucent, it will go over every color. Hi Amina, it'll go over every color and it won't change the color beneath it. So I'm just gonna dust some of this on and you can see that I kick a lot of the extra product off because you don't need a ton of it. Basically what we're doing is 
sealing in the cream. Thank you. We're sealing in the cream product so that it won't move while I'm at the pool. And there we go. So I used three very different shades of foundation. In fact, I'll show you all three of them together. Foundation, contour, highlight. Three very different shades on my skin and you can see how well they all blend together for a really, really natural look. And granted, I like to think of myself as somewhat of a self-trained professional, we'll, we'll say that. Um, if I can do it, you can do it. Honestly, it really is that easy. Um, okay, so let's go in with blush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Supple because I'm obsessed with it. It's the prettiest peach. It gives your skin just a nice, like very healthy, fresh glow. And everything is hyper pigmented, so just touching it once is gonna give you enough color on your brush to do your face with. Don't go in there. This is not cheap drugstore makeup where you have to like go in and spend half your morning just trying to get the product on the brush without it all falling off. I have literally never experienced fallout with these products because you don't need a lot of product on your brush to make things happen. All right, so let's go in with the Brow Obsession Palette, which is like my favorite thing in the world. And um, why I like, hi Deborah. why I like the palette most is it allows me to really pick and choose the color that I want. Hi, Jessie. Um, I can go dark, I can go medium if I mix the two, I can go light, there's the wax to make things look really sharp, really precise. These are highlight colors, which I only tend to use this one. I don't actually know what I'd use the pink one for, it's kind of weird to me, but it's there for a reason, and maybe I'm just not smart enough to know how to use it. Um, but this is why these two products have replaced brow pencils for me, is because this is 18 months old and still has so much life left in it and this brush is literally the goddess of eyebrows so i use this every single day and i have no regrets i have no interest in looking at other products you can take your 50 dollar um brow pencils designer pencils and like sell them to someone else because it is not my gig this stuff is the bomb so I'm just taking the dark shade and I'm going on the upper and lower lines of my brows and filling them in from the arch back to the tail. That's where you want it to be the darkest and most pronounced. And then I'm just taking what I have left over on my brush and I'm filling in because you want the front of it to look natural and sparse. Hi, Diane. And by doing, in order to do that, you can't have a ton of product on your brush. So I just kind of use what's already there. Which is why a little bit of brow goes a long way. But just the difference between a done, finished, completed brow and an undone one is like, it gives my face so much more saturation. Um, it, it just, it's everything. If you don't do your brows, try to do them and see what you think. And then if you hate them, because a lot of people, it, it's a totally different look. A lot of people need a little bit of time to get used to it. So I would say give it at least three times consecutively and then try to do your makeup without your brows and you're gonna feel like you've missed a huge step because they do make a world of difference. Okay. Oh, and I got a new lipstick. Hi, Evelyn. Okay, so brows are done. Now, I know that I used the Addiction 4 palette yesterday, but I really, really, really loved my eyes yesterday, so I'm gonna do something pretty similar. Plus, I'm wearing this like sea foamy blue-green bathing suit today so I kind of wanted to use that same sea foamy blue green because they're like the same 
for my eyes today. So I'm gonna go in with Arrogant, which is this lighter brown shade, and my Unique. I am, I got a spray tan. I got a custom airbrush spray tan, and I'm living for it right now. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Unique Blending Brush and Arrogant, and I'm just gonna blend this right into the crease of my eye and over my entire eyelid. And it's just a really nice kind of shadow. If you're wondering why I tap off my brush before I apply it to my face, it's because that is what's gonna get rid of anything that's gonna give you fallout while still keeping enough pigment on your brush to give you color. I probably spend more time blending than a lot of people do, but that's just because the blend is where it's at. It's totally a necessary thing. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the shade Cheerful, which is that really pretty seafoam blue. The entire reason I'm in this palette, highly, is for this seafoam blue. And I'm gonna apply this on my lid. Now I went in pretty light with it because I just want like a hint of it to show up. You can always obviously pack it on and add more, but I didn't want to add too much color. I'm still living for neutrality over here. I'm like Sweden with makeup. Hi, Amanda. All right. So that was the whole reason I was in that palette was for that gorgeous, awesome, cheerful blue. And then I'm gonna take this shade here, which is triumphant. It's sort of like a dark maroon navy color. And I'm gonna grab an angled brush and I'm gonna wet it. So this is wet just with water. You can use rose water or you can use regular water. I just drag it right on the palette and that concentrates all the color so that it more or less goes on like a liquid liner now. And I'm just gonna lightly paint it right on my lash line. Hi, Vanessa. Um, this is the Unique Blending Brush. I use this a lot actually I use it more often than not the other brush I use a lot for my shadow is um, why are you up looking so f <laughs> Vanessa and I were working until 2 a.m. together last night so that is why she's baffled that I'm up I've actually been up since 10 Vanessa because you know actually being up at 10 when you have small children is basically like being on vacation so thank you to the Barkovich brothers for allowing that but we're going on vacation on Tuesday and I had to meet we're renting a house and I had to get the key for it at 10 this morning all right so this is the unique fluffy crease brush and this is the unique blending brush <laughs> that's okay we were there till two everything you helped us so much so the fluffy crease brush is fluffy like the blending brush is. However, it's tapered, so it's not as big on the end. I use this when I really wanna be specific with just the crease. However, the blending brush does such a great job of buffing out the product that, um, <laughs> thank you so much, Deborah. Um, this does such a great job of buffing everything out so that I don't get like really weird blocky lines. I really like to diffuse the edges on everything that I do. If you watch any of my videos, you'll see that I kind of go over things a few times so that there's not like when I did my contour, I like to make things look really natural and well blended. I don't like where you see sharpness, like white, dark, pink, like I just hate that. So that's why I kind of go over things a few different times or show you a couple of different ways of doing it. Because to me, the best makeup look is one where you do not look like you're wearing too much makeup. So even though I use a lot of products, it's all about layering them so that you get the best re resolve. What's the word I'm looking for? You you get the best product if you follow simple steps. So it's like you never finish with creams, you never finish with liquids, you always finish with powders, those type of things. They're gonna make a regular makeup routine look 100% better. 
All right, so I'm taking this. This is like a brush that I probably got on Amazon or something. It was super cheap. You could probably pick one up at Target for 99 cents. It's just a little thin liner brush. It's angled and I wet it and I apply it to whatever shade I want to create a liner with. And now every single shade of eyeshadow is now an eyeliner for you using that very simple step. And the best part is that because it's going to dry to a powder, you can blend it out. So for smoky eyes and things like that, that's the only way to fly, if you ask me, is to go in and use a powder. Because otherwise you get just like, pencils can be so harsh and you really, you have a lot of control over them, but then you're stuck with like really, really precise lines. And let's face it, our entire faces are not precise lines whatsoever. 4D Epic Mascara, literally the best product on the market if you ask me because what it does is lengthens and separate your lashes right from the root. So I will do one full lash and then show you the difference. Um, I always put my mirror down beneath me because it makes my lashes so long that I end up nicking like my under brow area and that is just not good. So the way that this brush is designed, you kind of roll it on your eyes and it's going to grab every lash right at the root and separate it. And then it's gonna deposit little Y-shaped fibers onto your lashes. So basically it's gonna take your lash and then it's going to add lashes to it and make it grow. It's like literally, so this is one coat and I'll go in with a second coat. Um, I just like it to dry for a second first. It's literally gonna give you a false lash appearance. So I know people that wear false lashes or spend a lot of money to have them put on. And honestly, that is as good as it gets. So that's two coats of 4D and that's nothing. It's pretty legit. All right, so let's do this eye so that we don't walk around looking lopsided all day. And it doesn't feel heavy, it does not flake, and it doesn't like come apart to where you're gonna get little particles on your um, cheek during the day, which our other 4D mascara used to do because it was two steps. It was a transfer gel and then fibers, and then you put the transfer gel on before. But because this is all like one cohesive step, none of that happens. And it won't get in your eye either for us sensitive eye ladies. I have the most sensitive eyes on the block. When I used to use another product, I remember the first time I used this face wash when I was in high school, it made my eyes swell shut for two days. No matter how much Benadryl I drank, it would not go back to normal. All right, and now I'm gonna take what I have left over on the wand and just do my lower lashes. Done. What an eye look. Honestly, this 4D is incredible. I hear that it's getting low in stock. I have six of them here. I bought extras just in case. I have serious fear of running out. So if you guys can't get one on the website through my link, just send me a message and I can ship one to you. All right, so let's go in with highlighter. I'm gonna use the Beach Kissed Highlighter. So this is a special limited edition that we only have for the summertime. And I'm gonna go in with that because this is like a chilling um, highlighter. So when it touches your skin, it's actually gonna feel sort of damp and cool. And I don't go, like we talked about just a second ago, I don't go for really obnoxious, obvious makeup. Like that kind of bothers me, to be honest with you. So um, I try to make everything look kind of natural. So when I apply highlighter, I blend it in such a way that you're not gonna see like a lightning bolt of highlighter on me. I had someone leave me a comment on my YouTube channel that she like totally couldn't even see the highlighter. 
And I'm like, okay, that's fair because you're not supposed to walk around looking like a glow stick. If you want to, you can, but I live in the real world and um, I don't know how that would go. All right, and then last but not least on the Cupid's bow, this is gonna make your top lip sort of pop. So if you like a big juicy upper lip like I do, definitely pop a little highlighter right on the top of your Cupid's bow right here and it's gonna give you that lift. But highlighter essentially is just gonna make your skin glow and make you look youthful and radiant and like you have a really nice complexion. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna go in with a lip look. So I just got a new lipstick. This is actually one of our original colors, but I never had it. So this is the shade Stellar. It's like a beigey nude. And then I'm gonna go in with pouty lips, uh, lip liner. I never skip lip liner ever, which is funny because I never wore lip liner before I started doing Unique. Um, but it makes my lipstick last all day long and it helps me to transform the shape of my lips. Hi Chelsea. It helps me transform the shape of my lips into like the perfect bowed lip and I love a perfect lip. If I could find a perfect lip injection that would stay, I would do that too. But for right now, we have a $15 lip liner and a $20 lipstick and I'm happy. So if I'm quiet, it's cause I don't wanna look like the Joker when I'm done with this. But these lip liners are so smooth, you could fill in your whole lip with it. And I've done that before. So Pouty, which is the shade I'm using right now, is like my favorite go-to for just a really simple, sweet lip. Um, it's just like one shade deeper than your natural lips are. So you're still going to get that line of differentiation, but it's not going to be so much that you're going to have to like blend it out. All right, so this is the shade Stellar. And like I said, it's one of our original Splash Liquid lipsticks. I just never had it. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm living for it. Hi, Mary Ellen. This shade is everything. So a little trick with our Splash Liquid Lipsticks is number one, apply it to completely dry lips. Do not put lip oil, lip anything on your lips. Let it be dry when you apply it. Don't put too much on, put a little bit and blend it out because you're going to over apply. And then number three, don't rub your lips together like my grandmother always used to when she put a lipstick on like back and forth and back and forth with the lips. Don't do that. Let it dry because you already blended it out with the little wand on it. So we're just going to let it dry for a second and then I'm going to put a gloss on it because you know me. I tend to be a little bit extra. But we don't want to apply the gloss while it's wet because then it won't stay as long. So I always make sure I dry my lips first. It's very creamy too. It's like applying liquid velvet to your lips. Okay, good. Um, now I'm gonna apply Lovable Lucrative Lip Gloss because I just feel like that's gonna be the prettiest pink right on top. I like lips, uh, lip gloss only because it makes, hi Megan, um, when you add lip gloss to a lipstick, a juicier lip appears larger, and we already went into my preoccupation with big lips. I'm loving it. All right, so last, but very much not least, is Touch Behold Setting Spray. I use this all the time, even though we already did set our makeup with the Touch Behold powder, this is basically gonna seal in everything that we did. It's gonna bond it together so that it doesn't move throughout the day. 
It smells really refreshing. It doesn't sting, it doesn't burn, it's not sticky, but it's kind of like a hairspray for your makeup, like hairspray would be for your hair. So I give it a little shake. And we're set and ready for the pool. All right, so my face is actually wet with it and then it dries in like 30 seconds-ish. You can sort of make it go a little bit faster if you take a Uology skincare card and blend it off of your face like this. But um, basically it just melted everything together and into your skin so that it appears really natural and it dries to a matte finish. All right, so there we have it. There is our getting ready for the pool makeup look for the day and then I'm gonna go get the kids ready and we are off so I will take a filter free selfie and I will post it with all the products that I use to do today's makeup um, I am running 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 for a promotion this month so if you guys are interested in any products or you know someone who is certainly sent me a message um, sharing my videos helps me so much to find um, new people to connect with so that's a really great way to support my business without having to buy a thing um, but if you guys have any questions on makeup or skincare or anything like that I'm always happy to help even when I'm on vacation next week I don't know how many videos if any I'll be doing probably none honestly I'm really trying to just spend time with the kids and Justin um, hi Ivy uh, but and I don't want to bring a ton of makeup with me like I really just kind of want to kick back but I'm always available if you guys have questions on purchasing anything all right, with that, we're off to the pool. I love you guys. I will see you back here on Tuesday morning.